you a quick and simple card I made using my Cricut. This one is not 100% finished, but this is the card that I'm going to demonstrate today. I don't typically make happy St. Patrick's Day cards, um, but I'm trying to see what I can do with my next Create a Critter 2 um, images, and they're both St. Patrick's Day, and I was like, hmm, I don't know, let me see what I can do, let's see what other cartridges have, and I found this cute little leprechaun on my Simply Charmed cartridge. So I played and played, and this is basically what I came up with. And so let's just get started. I started out with a green cardstock. Uh, this cardstock is um, Stampin' Up. It is called, um, ooh, uh, what is it called? It is called uh, Garden Green. It is, okay, yeah, Garden Green. And so I took an eight and a half um, by 11 cardstock and I cut it at five and a half inches and folded it in half to get a standard. A2 size card. From there I took some black cardstock and I cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter and I have been playing lately with my jelly roll pen. Um, this one is a silver or translucent glitter with it and I just doodled um, dash lines or stitching all the way around the perimeter. Just going to take my ETG gun and I'm going to add adhesive and I'm just going to put it down in the center of my card like so. Okay, I'm not sure where I got this really pretty um, light green with uh, circled uh, paper. I think it's something from mm, hmm, Walmart, one of those paper packs. Anyways, I just cut it down to three and three quarter inch by five. I did stamp Happy St. Patrick's Day in the corner, except I didn't do a very good job, so I'm going to cover it up. So I'm just going to take some adhesive again, and i got to be careful because this paper is... Uh, can get crinkled really really easily because it's very thin and put my card back here all right so I'm just gonna put that in the center of the doodling that I had already done just like so okay so as I said I was gonna cover up my happy st. Patrick's Day so I did I re-stamped it and I cut it out and then I used some black cardstock and I raised it on pop dots um, the stamp comes from a Stampin' Up! set. I don't know which one it is from, uh, but it has a whole bunch of cute sayings. Okay, so the bulk of the balance of the cutouts comes from Simply Charmed, and I'm going to start with the pot of gold, and this is what it looks like right there, and it comes from page 33. So I didn't want the smiley face on the pot of gold, so I used the shift button and I cut it out at two inches. And I had to cut it out in green so that I could get the green strip of the rainbow. Then I just followed the instructions atop of layer one, two, and three. So in layer one, without the shift button, I cut out the gold and then the orange part of the rainbow. I cut out the orange the same as the beard that's going to be on my leprechaun. And then I did a black um, pot and then I cut out in red. And this is what it came to look like. Now I thought it was a little plain. Sometimes when I just use cardstock some of my images end up being very very plain. So what I did is I took my my uh, jelly roll pen again with the glitter and I just went out around and I colored all of the gold and then I have a stamp, a very very tiny stamp that says luck and I don't know if you can see that or not. So I'm just going to take my two-way glue and I am just going to glue it more towards um, the bottom of the left hand with the corner with the pot of gold and I'm gonna put that right on the oh crap I got a hair that hair is everywhere we have like three cats so they're cute and lovable but they get hairs everywhere so again bottom left corner ish 
and I am just going to put it so it doesn't touch my raised sediment. Okay, so not too bad, but I didn't like where the rainbow ended. So on page 69 is this cute little cloud. So again at two inches, I cut out the little cloud and this is what it looks like. And again, because I used some plain cardstock, I used some very vanilla, then it kind of got a little plain for me. So what I decided to do is I again went all the way around using my gel pen and I also ran it through my cuddle box using Swiss dots. So I'm going to just take my two-way glue again and I am just going to cover up the edge of the rainbow so it looks like it's hidden in the cloud. There we go, not too bad. And then there's my cute little leprechaun. He looks so adorable. Have to admit the booklet looks a little cuter, but uh, anyways, he didn't turn out too, too bad. So I ended up using the, le the leprechaun that's not dancing. However, I used both. I think he's really cute. I could have used either or, but with his eyes um, closed, um, the slits when I cut it out with my Cricut didn't look so cute. So I ended up using this image. So he is cut at two and a half inches in black, and then his face is right here. I just used the vanilla, I used some green, I used the orange that I had used in the rainbow, and then here I cut it only once because I wanted the yellow buckle and for his button, but I ended up not using the pink cheeks. But if you want to, you need to cut it out again in pink. So I put them all together. I thought he was a little really cute. And instead of using the pink cheeks, I used a Copic marker. And then I used my Jelly Roll pen again to a little bit of glitter. And then I did the same thing for the buckle. So I think he's really cute. I'm just going to put him, I raised him on pot dots. I'm just going to put him a little bit on an angle. And I can hear my son in the background, so I apologize if you can hear him also. Anyways, my daughter's out for a play date, so my son has a tendency to stick side by side to me. He knows I'm talking about him because he just quieted down. Anyways, I am just going to add him at an angle, just like so. And of course, another hair. Anyways, I think he's so cute. You can add him... You know, you can add some dimension to him and a little less being plain if you, you know, you can probably um, take an embossing folder and do his beard and stuff, but I'm just going to leave him like that. And last but not least, although the Simply Charms doesn't have any um, little clovers, um, in, um, yeah, that's what they are, right? Anyways, um... Fourth leaf clovers. Yep, three leaf clovers. So they didn't have any, but Create a Critters 2 does. So I just went and cut out four, and I'm just adding them for a little bit extra touches. Um, so I cut them out at an inch, and there's two sizes. I'm just using the smaller one of the two. And again, to add a little shimmer, to this, I um, went around them with the gel pen, and I'm going to do this one right here, and just like so, and then I'm going to add one, do I have room? Yeah, I'm going to add it in the corner. And I don't have any um, embellishments or gems on this because I did use a little bit of glitter. So I think what I'm going to do is use some glossy accents. And hopefully this works. I didn't try it. Uh, I need a pin. Sometimes my gets stuck. Okay. Uh, I saw someone add some glossy accents with a smaller size bottle and I think that's probably better. So I'm just going to add a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of, you know, glossiness to the four clovers. And, uh, you know what, I'm just going to do to the three. 
and there's a possibility that later on I might end up doing the rainbow because that probably would have looked really nice glossy too and you know what I think I will but not on camera and that's pretty much my card and uh, as you've seen lately um, I had said that I'm trying to get rid of my scraps and sometimes I get too small of pieces so I did have a little bit of piece left over enough so this will be my liner until I figure out what sentiment I want to put on or if I'm just going to hand write something so that will go on the inside of the card to complete it and that's it for today so thanks for watching